you are good at relationships. I promise. And I'm going to show you today how you, how, well, first I'm going to try to convince you if you don't believe it. And then I'm going to show you how to use that so that you can help yourself in some of the relationships that might be a little bit more challenging or might have a challenging season that you're walking through right now. I'm Stacy Rockline and I'm a relationship literacy coach. I help people create, strengthen, and deepen their emotional connections with the people in their lives. So you really are good at relationships and this is how I know. Somewhere you have a relationship in your life, whether it is a, a sibling, a parent, a friend, a coworker, your significant other, a child, somewhere you've got a relationship that's going well. It's working. You like the way you show up there. You like the way you feel there. It feels easy. Everything is flowing and you feel connected and it doesn't have challenges and problems. That is working somewhere, okay? And if you're like, nope, not working anywhere, Stacey, I don't have a single example of that. First, I'd invite you to stretch a little bit and really look throughout your entire life. And if you still don't see something then, then just look back a little bit. Look back at a time when you did have a relationship like that, okay? I'm gonna teach you a little bit of a self-coaching tool that we use in coaching to, to mine the gold we all have within us, right? So first step is to find that relationship, either in your life right now or one that has been a part of your past. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look at what were you doing or what are you doing that is making it feel so good, that is making it flow, that is making it feel easy. And make sure when you do this part that you don't focus on the external things, right? Don't give everyone else the credit. You know, it's not just because, oh, that person just makes it easy or it's because of what they do or it's because of the circumstances around it. You know, you're doing something well there. You really are. So look at your own actions. What is happening in that successful relationship that you can look at as your strength, right? Maybe, you know, you feel like you can be really honest in that relationship. So you're, you're able to say what you think, you know, maybe there's humor um, and fun in that relationship. And that's why it's got that, that nature to it. You know, maybe you shared some intimate moments or some intimate secrets with each other. And so you've got a connection that way. What are the things that you have done, the actions that you've taken that have created something really positive and connected? And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take those strengths because you have them. They're yours. If you're doing them somewhere else, you can do them in other places. And you're going to think to yourself in whatever relationship you want to focus on, you know, especially if you've got one that's a challenge or you're in a challenging season in a relationship, how can you take those actions, your strengths, what you do well, and apply them here into this relationship? How do you use that goodness that already exists within you that you already know how to do and move it into this space? See, all this stuff is yours. Like you own this, you own these, these experiences. You've created this for yourself so you can do it in other places. So this is your self-coaching tool, right? The first step is to find what went, what's going well now or what went well in the past, right? Look at specifically the actions that you took. You know, what are you doing? What did you do that made that relationship easy and made it work? And then how can you bring this into your current relationships and apply those beautiful strengths of yours here so that you can start to experience that same flow, that same ease, that same connection, that same um, ability to handle challenges in all of your current relationships that are really important to you so that you can live that connected life that we all so badly want to live. That's what I've got for you today. If you are somebody, a woman in particular, who is interested in a free Facebook group where we celebrate, celebrate our relationships and we tackle our challenges and support each other, we would love to have you come join us in our Facebook group, Women Committed to Relationships, where you get trainings every week and other women in a community who believe that deep connections are pretty much the most important thing and the highest priority in life. We'd love to have you join us. Okay, see you next time.